Hi, I'm Susan Hill, and I'd like to welcome you to Hill Farm in Louisa, Virginia. Well, I've always had a passion for growing, and I guess 10 years ago now, my husband said that if I would retire early, he would go ahead and build me a high tunnel so that I could experiment with vegetables in the winter. Also vegetarian, so it was important to me to be able to get good sources. So we put up our first high tunnel, and I was hooked, absolutely hooked. Um, lived out there planting things and pretty soon I had more than I could eat. So I thought, well this is great, I'll go ahead and make a business. So I called everybody I knew and nobody would buy because back then they didn't buy local in the wintertime. It all came from, local is within many places, 500 miles. So they wouldn't buy it, so I finally got one grocery store to take some lettuces. And um, when I took it to them and showed them, she said, where did you get this? I said, I got it in Louisa where I'm growing it. So that started it, got me hooked, um, also taught me about succession planting and all kinds of things that I needed to learn. And fortunately, I had just one tunnel. And that one tunnel allowed me to experiment and learn and do the things that I needed. After that, we went ahead and applied for a grant, NRCS grant, and we put one tunnel up, they put one tunnel up. So now I'm up to three. And the nice thing about it is that I always believe if you have a business, it should make money. And our first tunnel paid for our second tunnel. Our second tunnel paid for our third tunnel. And from then on, we tried commercial. Um, I tried mostly commercial growing through the local food hub. And I, it was a great start for me, and it was an intro, and I learned a lot about food safety, packaging, all those kinds of things. Most of it from Virginia State in the Extension Service, went to every class they had. Um, it gave me a market that I wouldn't have otherwise, but I was tiring of growing masses of chard and kale. It gets very boring, and the price dropped from 185 to 140, and you can't make any money at that. So I decided to expand to restaurants. Um, getting paid was difficult, so I, and and they would say I need 30 heads of lettuce. They didn't have a good week. They only needed 15, and what do you do with the rest of them? So I wanted something that was plant, that you could plan and sustain, and I've been kind of kicking it around. So I went to a um, charity event, and I brought a big basket of vegetables that they were going to auction off. And some, one of the ladies who had a booth there said, Susan, you need to do a CSA. She said, "You've got. I'll be the first customer. Well, she signed up. I had three more before the end of the night, and that got me off on the CSA route. I now have a 15 minute 12 to 15 member CSA, and they've been with me for three years, which says a lot for their happiness with the product. As a matter of fact, my CSA gets referrals from doctors for patients who have terminally ill or, or chronic illnesses. I now have um, two with cancer, one with MS, and one with Lyme disease, and they call me and tell me how much better they feel when they eat my vegetables. That's something such a rewarding experience. Oh, successful farming to me begins with the soil. Working very hot on the soil, we do bionutrient growing here, putting all kinds of things in. Um, we do integrated pest control, I think that's important. Because what people are looking for now is local, and they're looking for pesticide free. They're also looking now for nutrient dense. We're seeing more and more of that in the news. Roland Terrell is my small farm agent. And I met Roland the day I retired from teaching. He came running in. He had just been hired from the Small Farm Conference. He said, I heard you have a high tunnel. And I said, I do. He said, well, I'm going to be handling that for Virginia State. So I'll be out, and we'll learn this together. And that's what we decided to do. And Roland has been a great person for introducing me to everyone, taking me to conferences. He keeps in touch. It's been awesome. Hi, I'm Roland Terrell. And I've been working with Susan Hill for over eight years. And she's one person that really cares about growing vegetables and she's really dedicated. And she doesn't mind helping other small farmers with her ideas as to growing vegetables in high tunnels. One particular ex experience that I remember uh, when working with Susan, she had a trouble with uh, snails in her greenhouse as far as on the, on the ground or around her raised beds. And she thought of, or she had an idea of putting down cedar bark, cedar mulch, to uh, help contain them, and, and it, it worked. Um, it it uh, eradicated her snail problem, and that was one idea that 
she has well shared with other people along with many others. What makes me passionate is the connection with my customers. It's seeing the little kids running out to see if I've got peppers this time. Um, the responses they get when they get their vegetables and the interaction with farmers is a very humbling experience for me. I, I learn something every time we have a farm tour or I go to a conference. I think sometimes I think I know it all and then I find out I don't know anything. And it's wonderful. It's just wonderful, the social interaction. You know, it started with Roland, but I can't thank the Small Farm Conference enough for bringing me to where I am today. Their conferences, their encouragement, all of those things have allowed me to make this farm successful. And I thank you all very much for it.